The creator of uh, Star Trek, Gene Roddenberry, was a true visionary. The uh, Starship Enter Enterprise was supposed to be uh, soaring through space in the 23rd century. By that time, uh, the crew of the Enterprise uh, reflected the philosophy that Gene Roddenberry had. Gene Roddenberry felt that the Enterprise was a metaphor for Starship Earth, and the strength of this starship lay in its diversity. People of many different backgrounds, many different cultures, many different experiences, uh, many different ethnicities coming together and working in concert as a team, boldly going where no one had gone before. And uh, that was uh, depicted in the makeup of the crew. African American women as the communications chief. Uh, uh, the captain was a North American. Uh, the engineer was a European. And my character, Sulu, was to represent Asia. The problem he had was to find a name for this Asian character from the 23rd century. Because every Asian surname is nationally specific. Tanaka is Japanese, Wong is Chinese, Kim is Korean, and 20th century Asia was turbulent with warfare, colonization, rebellion, and he didn't want to uh, suggest that. Uh, he wanted to depict and suggest a much more enlightened society. And he wanted to find the name that suggested all of Asia, Pan-Asia, and that was a real dilemma for him. He had a map of Asia pinned on the wall. And he was staring at it, trying to get uh, some inspiration for the Asian character. And he found off the coast of the Philippines the Sulu Sea. And he thought, ah, the waters of a sea touch all shores, embracing all of Asia. And that's how my character came to have the name uh, Sulu. And so that's the kind of vision he had um, projecting uh, into uh, the 23rd century. However, I did very privately bring up the issue of uh, gays and lesbians. And he was certainly, uh, as a sophisticated man, uh, mindful of that. But he said in one episode, we had a biracial kiss, Captain Kirk and uh, Uhura had a kiss. That, that show was literally black out, blacked out in the South. Louisiana, um, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia didn't air that. Our red ratings plummeted. It was the lowest rated episode that we had. And he said, I'm treading a fine tight wire here. I'm dealing with issues of the time. I'm dealing with the Civil Rights Movement, the Vietnam War, the Cold War. And I need to be able to make that statement by staying on the air. He said, if I dealt with that issue, I wouldn't be able to deal with any issue because I would be canceled. And I, I understood that because I was still closeted at that time. I talked to him as a liberal <laughs> uh, rather than as a gay man. And uh, I understood his position on that. So th that's the way Star Trek envisioned our future in the 23rd century. But I think we're getting closer to, to that uh, utopian society that uh, Gene Roddenberry uh, visualized m much more rapidly than uh, even the technology. We had this amazing technology on Star Trek. We had this device on our hip, walked all over the ship, and when, whenever we wanted to talk to someone, we'd rip it off and start talking. Back in the 60s, that was an astounding device. No wires attached to it. <laughs> and now, in the 21st century, early part of the 21st century, we not only talk to people, but all of the things that we do uh, there, send text messages, watch movies, listen to uh, music, it's amazing the kind of progress that we're making, both uh, technologically and societally.